Welcome to the Weekday Report for Tuesday, October 21st. I'm Tracy Palaszczuk. Here's a brief look at the news. Darshan Frazan pleaded guilty today to two counts of first-degree intentional homicide for the April 2013 fatal shootings of Zachary Hernandez and Carlos Garcia. The plea came early in the morning of what would have been his second day of trial. The state agreed to recommend he be eligible for supervised release after serving 50 years in prison. If released, he would remain on supervision for the rest of his life. Less than a day after being convicted of murder, Joshua Braithwaite allegedly beat a Kenosha County Jail Correctional Officer. The jail worker was taken to Kenosha Medical Center with multiple head and facial injuries. He needed stitches to his mouth. Braithwaite was convicted Friday of the rape and murder of Lachey Zalar in Nedweski Park in 2012. A suspicious chemical smell forced the evacuation of Summers Elementary School early Monday morning. About 465 students and staff were kept outside for about 45 minutes until fire officials determined the problem. Crews found 50 gallons of an antifreeze toxin had spilled from the school's heating and cooling system in the mechanical boiler room above the cafeteria. The spill went through the ceiling and into an office area. Students were not in the affected area. A teenage boy was transported by medical helicopter to a Milwaukee area hospital Monday evening after he was ejected from a vehicle in a rollover accident in the 2600 block of Alford Drive. Police were called just before 5.30 for the crash in which a white Chevy Blazer carrying six passengers rolled multiple times before landing in a wooded area. Check KenoshaNews.com later today. We hope to have an update on the boy's condition. What's trending today? Downtown Kenosha, Inc. has hired a new executive director to succeed Violet Ricker. His name is Christopher Nauman, and he's the executive director of a similar program in Green Bay. What do you think his first priority should be here in Kenosha? Tell us on Facebook. Up next is Diane Giles with this week's History Mystery. Kenosha Police Chief Owen O'Hare was probably the most celebrated police chief in Kenosha history. He eased the police force into the motor age, and when one of his policemen, Antonio Pingator, was killed in the line of duty in 1919, he and his men brought the murderers to justice. During his 22-year tenure on the force, he had his hat shot off his head while apprehending two burglars and was shot in the chest, escorting a horse thief to the police station but the esteemed lawman ended his career on a fall from grace in 1922, when he pled guilty to diverting money from a police pension fund and served a three-year prison term. This week's history mystery question is, how many pages was the first edition of the Kenosha Evening News? For the Kenosha News, I'm Diane Giles. Thanks, Diane. Now, here's a look at what we're working on today. Stephen Zellick, in court this afternoon, he's the man accused of killing two women and stuffing their bodies in suitcases left along the road. Janine Anderson is covering that. And there was an all-school assembly this morning for state tennis champ Claire Zerwanka over at St. Joseph High School. John Brines was there. Pick up a copy of the Kenosha News and check kenoshanews.com for all the details on these stories and more. I'm Tracy Palaszczuk with the Weekday Report.